I picked up this knife just recently and wanted to talk about it real quick. Pretty interesting knife from Columbia River Knife and Tool. And I like their products and overall. This knife I like for the most part, but it's not my favorite knife out of their inventory. But uh, altogether, it's a good knife. This is called the CRKT Endorser. So this particular knife, I'll just run some specs here real quick. It has 18 CR14 steel with the G10 handle, which is a very nice handle, by the way. I dig that handle. That's one of the reasons I got it. Just a sharp looking knife. But um, it's uh, a five inch overall length. It has a plain uh, blade edge with a drop point shape. It's 3.2 ounces. And uh, overall, it's just your basic EDC knife. But the thing is, is its opening function is a little bit different. It's locking and opening function. So you can see this doesn't have a flipper on it. No flipper. Uh, it does have a thumb stud. It's not an ambi thumb stud or anything, but that's for a reason. If you just try and push out on the thumb stud, it's not going to open. You have to push in. I don't know if you can see right there. Push in, and then it kind of pops out. Um, it's a neat action. And it locks up solid. It does have a uh, liner lock right here, which is very, very solid. Let's see if we can get it to focus in on that liner lock there. Very solid hookup. Very consistent. Has a good clip. It's non-reversible, as you can see. So pretty much you get tip-up carry. Um, or excuse me, tip-down carry. And that's pretty much it. It does have a nice texture right here and a nice shape. For use so that way you can grab you have a place to put your thumb for various tasks this particular knife uh, it does not have a lanyard loop or anything like that so it's kind of basic uh, this is about a 55 dollar knife on average uh, the biggest gripe that i have with this knife is not the design it looks sharp it's a sharp looking knife it's uh i'm not a big fan of this I'm not a big fan of this push in the thumb stud and then flip it open. Some people may like it, but I just don't dig it. I'd rather have a flipper or just a standard thumb stud, you know, an ambi thumb stud, um, and just go off of that. Uh, this is a, I believe this is a lurch design, yep. So, again, overall, it looks really sharp, really good quality, just like I expect from CRKT. They never really disappoint me as far as their looks of their knives. And overall, everything's good quality. I just, I'm not digging the opening action myself, but it's still kind of cool. Uh, I think this knife has a good place as far as maybe just an EDC, not necessarily a fighting blade, but just an EDC everyday use. You can carry this in conjunction with maybe a fighting blade. So you can get something more set up for fighting from CRKT if that's your brand. And then you can carry this as well. And this could be your just daily tasks type knife but overall it's pretty nice um i think the biggest selling point on it is just the design of the blade the drop point design it looks good and along with the g10 handles that are on this the grips are very very nice i think that's the biggest selling point and that's honestly why i got it i saw it i'm like man that's a nice crkt so i'm gonna go ahead and grab it so uh overall pretty good not the best in their lineup i believe i believe there's a lot better uh, if you're looking for something with a little bit more utility to it, but it certainly does work. So check it out. If this knife is your jam, feel free to check them out. Um, and I bought this. They, I know I've done a lot of CRKT reviews, but they're not sending me anything. I've been buying all their knives. They don't even know I exist. I'm not that big. So uh, in any case, check it out and feel free to put your thoughts in the comment section below. And I hope everybody is having a safe day.